Our next guest sees global purchasing managers indices as a risk to earnings, especially as inflation starts to cool. Joining us now, Goldman Sachs chief global equity strategist and head of Europe macro research, Peter Oppenheimer. Uh, Peter, uh, it's great to see you. Hi. Um, you as uh, well. You know, Thank you. It's, it's interesting that, um, you know, here in the U.S., markets have been migrating to this view that we maybe can rely on something of a soft economic landing. We've been working through a period of weak PMIs, manufacturing in a downturn. Uh, and how does that play against what you're expecting in the rest of the world for the rest of the year? Well, Michael, very similar, really. I mean, our view has been for a long time that all global economies or main ones would avoid a recession. We'd have a soft landing. That's still our view in Europe as well. We've had a slight modest technical recession in, in Germany, but we expect that to be very short-lived. Uh, there has been significant weakness in manufacturing, and that's obviously hit uh, parts of Europe quite hard because uh, some of the countries are very heavily tilted towards manufacturing and exports. But overall, uh, it's a relatively similar story to the U.S. Very strong labor markets, plenty of pent-up uh, savings, consumer spending and services have held up well, and we continue to expect that to be the case. Uh, the difference, of course, in Europe and elsewhere relative to the U.S. is that inflation is still not yet coming down as quickly. We expect it to do so. Uh, and, of course, uh, we're still seeing uh, rate rises. But overall, the picture and, indeed, yeah. the performance of the equity market is relatively similar. Yeah, and it seems, I guess, uh, perhaps just slight differences in, in timing in terms of when these things are happening, as you mentioned, with inflation. Uh, what does the weakness in China mean for, for the rest of, uh, of the global picture? That's been a, a real absent piece of the, uh, of the case for a, a much stronger global economy. Absolutely. I mean, China, in a sense, is in a very different situation to the rest of the world. I mean, it's, it's facing deflation. Producer prices is actually falling. Uh, unemployment is high rather than low, as we're seeing across Europe and, and, and the U.S. And, of course, growth is, is, is pretty weak at the moment. There are hopes of more stimulus, uh, which has uh, been reflected in, 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 in the market just recently. Uh, but generally speaking, it's had a negative effect on overall global manufacturing and, indeed, the inventory cycle, uh, which is weakening. Um, but, of course, uh, in other parts of, uh, of the world where you've got strong consumer demand uh, and labor markets, that's really been what's holding up both the economies and, indeed, earnings in the stock market. And I expect that really to, to continue. Uh, we have seen some parts of Europe, of course, which are very exposed to consumer sales in China, like luxury goods doing very well. But the manufacturing story and the services story has really been uh, very distinctly different, I think, year to date. So globally, Peter, when you look at the economic story and the market story, where do you think the mismatch is, if at all? I mean, you've just given a good overview. Do you think that investors, for instance, are too excited about the end of the, the hiking cycles in, in some of the markets, even well, though we're still seeing inflation? Yeah, I, I, our view is that, that we'll get a soft landing, and um, that, we think, is supportive for equities, albeit in an environment where actually profits are pretty flat this year, both in the U.S. and Europe. Uh, we expect only modest profit growth next year. Uh, we do think that inflation has peaked, and we're very close to a peak in rates in the U.S., lagging behind in, in Europe and, other, uh, uh, and, other, uh, and some other places. But we think the market is probably too optimistic about the pace and speed of rate cuts. So the balance for us, really, particularly when you consider the moves that we've seen up in equities year to date, is that we've got a relatively flatter picture from here. Uh, we've got a neutral in equities in our global asset allocation. We don't think the picture is negative, but we do think index returns will broaden out a little bit, bearing in mind that most of the gains we've had year to date have been very concentrated in specific areas of the market.